Now, what all that garbage means is that this object has a much steeper light curve than we have observed in natural comets. So together with a colleague named Eric Quito, Avi Loeb realized that the observed slope of negative four is consistent with an alternative model in which the dust outflow around 3i Atlas is being illuminated by a central source. In other words, this object is creating its own light, not ref That is just insane. So Harvard's, uh, Harvard's Dr. Avi, Avi Loeb, and I know I butchered the name, guys. I am horrible with names. Everybody's like, you can't pronounce his name right. You shouldn't be doing this. Well, I suck at names. So everybody sucks at something, and I suck at names. So uh, Harvard's Dr. Avi Loeb published findings showing 3i Atlas may be generating its own light source. And Hubble images reveal a mysterious forward-facing glow from the object's nucleus, not typical sunlight reflection. And Loeb's calculations show this requires an internal energy source, like a possibly being nuclear-powered, I guess? Unlike every comet we've studied, 3i Atlas shows no gas molecules, no ice sublimation, no tail pointing away from the sun. Instead, it leads like literally a leading glow towards the sun, as if something is actively pushing particles ahead of its path. The trajectory is even stranger. This object will visit Mars on October 3rd when Venus and Jupiter, and Loeb calculated the probability of such perfectly timed encounters to just at 0.0005%. That's statistically impossible. So what do you think? Could this be the first confirmed alien technology? Let me know in the comments.